Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Sarthak Commerce Wala. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the most important topics which have a very higher probability to come within your examination of EVS such that environment science theory in to practice first, which is majorly a subject for semester one students of Delhi University. So keep it an eye on this video and thank you for all the appreciation which you were showing in my previous videos. Even I don't deserve that much. I'm saying it again, but thank you for that support and stay tuned with my videos and my channel as well. So let's get started. Let's start with the first unit, which is the unit first. Within unit first, I majorly recommend you that you have to do all the topics, which means in unit one, there are selective four topics and you have to do all the four. But among them, I just separate some of the topics which are more important. OK, so first is component of environment absolutely coming within your examination, 100 percent sure. Any two short note or any one short note can become among all these four components, whether it can be lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Second is sustainability and sustainable development. See whether they can give you direct definition of sustainable development or they can also ask you a question on the establishment of the sustainable development, like when it was established and during which conference. So you need to take a very descriptive view about the sustainable development. It, it's not just about that you only take a view about the definition and you are thinking that, oh, I'm going to write the whole answer with full effectiveness and efficiency. No, this is not you can absolutely expect from a graduation level student. Okay, so try to read all these topics within depth and take a deep dive view about all these topics because these are the very basic topics which even you studied within your 10th or 9th class as well. Third most important topic within your unit first is multidisciplinary nature of environment. Actually, when I was observing your previous year question paper of EVS, then in that question paper, this directly came within the short note. Therefore, I added within the most important topics. So these are the most important topics for unit first. Now let's jump on to the unit two. Now let's jump on to our unit second within unit second generally unit second is a large unit which contains a lot of topics. So whatever topics I had written here, you have to do all of them. But among all of these topics, I will be going to tell you about the most important one, which will be absolutely coming within your examination. OK, so first is ecosystem, which means you have to take an eye on the basic meaning and what is ecosystem. Now, the most important topic is food chain and food web. This was repeating from last two year questions from last two years. And I had seen that from past two years on food chain and food web, there was a question which was absolutely there within your EVS examination. So this is one of the most important topic from unit two. Ecological succession, it can be come within the short note. So take an eye on it. Homeostasis, ecological pyramid. This is also a very important topic, very super hit topic for short notes. Biotic and abiotic component. This is a very basic one. The third most important topic of unit two is types of ecosystem in which there are four types of ecosystem, tundra forest, grassland, desert and aquatic in which tundra forest is one of the most important one on which your examiner can ask question within your question paper. Ecosystem preservation and conservation is also an important topic. So you can do all of them. But among all of them, I am telling you which will be coming absolutely 100 percent within your EVS examination that are food chain, food web, homeostasis, ecological pyramid, ecological succession, types of ecosystem. So now let's jump on to our unit three. Initially, I started from unit three by all those topics which have a higher probability of coming in terms of short notes in which first is land degradation, second is soil erosion and third one is desertification. The second most important topic is deforestation. And if I'm saying deforestation, it doesn't mean that you just only read the definition of deforestation. You have to read each and everything and take a very in-depth view about deforestation, just like causes of deforestation, impact of de deforestation. So this is a very important topic and this should be coming within your examination 100%. Third topic is energy resources. In energy resources, there are four subtopics like renewable and non-renewable resources, use of alternate energy resources, energy content of coal petroleum. This is one of the most important one because this actually this particular topic came within your previous year EVS examination and agro residues as biomass energy source. This is also a very important topic as well. The third thing which will be coming in your examination 100% that can be a case study. Now case study can be come from like unit three and even from unit four. So both unit three and unit four have the topics for case studies. So one case study is according to me mandatory within your EVS examination. Now I wrote some of some of the most important topics for the case studies from unit three specifically now. So case studies can become on Chipku movement, maybe on Apico movement and maybe on national solar mission. OK. Now let's jump on to our unit four within unit four. The most important topic is solid waste management in which you will get a question on 
controllable measures for various types of waste now which means how you can control the types of waste and among them there are four types of waste so first of all you need to know the basic meaning of all these four types of waste and along with that how we can dispose them and control them so what are the possible measures among which e-waste is very important because this is a very new concept and hazardous waste is also very important because this is a very interesting term and this is not a common type of waste as compared to urban and industrial one along with that there is one another topic which is very important that is waste segregation and disposal which means how can we segregate or separate the waste and after that dispose them that is also a very important topic and along with that there is a case study which can come from unit 4 now I am actually recommending you that there will be one case study 100% sure present within your EVS question paper now it can be either from unit 3 or from unit 4 and I had given you the most important topics for case studies from both the units. So there is an other most important topic which is the topic of case study in unit 4. See actually I am telling you that case study will be coming within your examination for that I am 100% sure but I am suggesting you all the important topics for the case study which will be coming within your examination from unit 4 from unit 4 and unit 3 both. So from unit 3 I had given you three important topics that will appear in terms of a case study within your EVS question paper and even from unit 4 I am telling you two topics that were the most important one as looking to the past year question papers of EVS among which one is Opal gas tra tragedy and second is plastic waste management. So generally these are the most important topics of EVS and these topics I had not returned by just going to the Google. I had do a lot of evaluation of the previous year question papers. So this is all for this video. In this video actually I told you all the most important topics and these topics I had returned within this notebook on the basis of last previous year question paper of EVS of Delhi University and even along with that I want to tell you one more thing that is that that these two things are very important from your paper point of view which means you get one diagram based question which will be probably from your food chain and food web and you will be getting one case study which can be either from unit 3 and unit 4 okay so this is all for this video thank you so much for appreciating me by your cheerful comments and i am very grateful to all the students who are commenting on my video and also stay tuned to my channel thank you very much best of luck for your exams your exam will be great and be confident and have that self-belief okay bye bye